Me, I use knife for your daughter. Hey, is this a daughter? After a two year, no a single shoe dress. This one is daughter. Chineke. Shio. Are you insulting me? Kini. Is something wrong with your head? Hey, hey. Oh, wait, let me finish you. Mokbe, my you know, if something is wrong with my head, then something is wrong with your head, your eyes, even go back by your chest. Kini. I have come closer to see this, ladies and gentlemen. I'm live in Lagos, Nigeria at um, Genesis Cinemas just to see a particular movie which is promising to be the funniest comedy movie. Yeah, the funniest movie in 2018. Um, I'm here with my crew, you know. Koga TV gives you the update. Today's event report. My name is Engo Okisi and I'm about to show you what happens. My name is Shalewa. I'm so excited because I actually wanted to meet Bolanle. Who's going to be your favorite actor you're looking at? forward to Nini Owo, as my friend has said, I've, I've not met him before, so hoping to see him. Alright, enjoy, have fun. Now, a whole lot of fans are here to see their great and favorite celebrity actors. We are, I'm here to have the experience of a funny time. Yeah, a lot of people are here for great minds, like y'all. Also, they want to see what uh, Remy is going to do, uh, Bay Ray and the rest of them. This movie is promising to be the best, so let's go check it out. And we're going to ask people a few questions about the movie, favorite characters, and some of the funny things we want to pick out from there. What do you think about the whole movie? Well, I think they did very well. Uh, humor was intact, and uh, the, they didn't lose the story. The story was on point as well. The suspense and everything. I think everybody really played their role perfectly well. It's a great movie and they had the perfect people for the perfect role. And that's what a great movie should be. It's practically letting people understand, you know, that peace is all it takes for a home to strive, you know, and all that, you know, we we'll definitely need peace. What inspired the script? Um, I was pretty young when I wrote this script, like 15 years ago, and it came to, even to me as a, as a surprise, a big shock. I realized I was on my bed in my room in uni, and I, I, as I was writing, as it progressed, I was like asking myself, where did I get this inspiration from? How am I able to write this? But, but while from one scene to the other, I was able to finish up and we staged it at the Muzon Center, we staged in some other places. It actually took us to many other uh, venues, Port Harcourt, uh, NNNG at Port Harcourt, even outside Nigeria, that was 13 years ago. So um, when the inspiration to go into the cinemas for the first time came, I said to myself, let me do that statement that I felt would make some good sense to people, as in that everybody can connect with whether you're married or not, you can connect with it. Even if you were not married, you will have seen some experiences from your mother or from your mother-in-law. So are you actually going to come up with a movie, Sones, or something? Oh, absolutely, I would love to. I'd love to produce one day. I'd like to direct one day. I, I think I've been in the industry enough to, you know, know know those pertinent things so of course i'd like to give back by directing my own film one day you know putting my ideas what i've learned so far putting my own ideas and contributing to our industry so of course i'd like to do that someday do you have any of your song played on the movie yeah tell uh, us about your song yeah the, 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 the title of the song was truth i actually made it for the movie because i there was i was given a script so i, I wrote on the storyline of the whole thing so it was, it was truth it was like mother cannot go the wife cannot go okay. You know, I understand, like, I can't let them go. So I was, like, putting myself in the shoe of the husband. So I was just talking about what was going on, the scenario and all that. Good uh, to see you, sir. <laughs> thank you, thank you. How did you actually play that role? I know naturally you're funny, but yeah. you, you actually take that role. Yeah, just because we've done, we've done this thing for a long time. We did it in um, 2001. So we did it as a stage play in 2001. So we only just replayed it, turned it into a movie this time around. So it was... It wasn't nothing, it was nothing, so mm, we just did it. Yeah, you, you, you played the role of uh, somebody that was advocating for M, 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 M. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yes. Um, because whether I like it or not, if you allow these women to take you for a ride, <laughs> it's not the best, you know. So um, I had to preach that. The guys should shine their eye, you know what I'm saying? So, my movie is coming up very soon, this December also. So I want to just restrict myself to producing content and all 
for TV and them films and I oh, know basically that's what I want to do now. So can you tell us something about your movie? It's Possibly. called Smash. It's coming up I think December seventh. If the date doesn't change, um, December seventh. It's about um, five evil guys and all they do with women and all that. So basically, it's nothing much. Nothing much. Is this story of the movie in any way depicts a real life story and experience of anybody? Yeah, you 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 know that in every home you always have these conflicts between the mother-in-law and the wife. Uh, but like I said uh, during my vote of thanks, I said that look at. Both of them love the man, but they need to come together to make the man have peace in the house. Tribal issues in marriage, do you think um, the tribal issues has roles to play in marriage? Igbo, Yoruba, Aosa and the rest of them? I mean, it shouldn't be a problem the way I, I think society should be, but like over time, they always like, most people wanted to like marry into the same tribe, but I feel like if you love someone that is not your child, you should just go for it. It shouldn't be a problem. So that's something they should definitely work work through. Yeah, so it shouldn't be a problem. Well, you and I know that it's not really helped a lot of marriages. But I mean, people really need to know that um, in any marriage, most of other people, the husband and the wife, every other person is just like an extension. So, Well, like they say, Igbos and Yoruba, they are not really in good terms. Like they say, I don't know. I feel... It's all about love, not about where you're from or anything. You know, just let love lead. Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think it was even an issue in this um, particular film. I think the woman just, uh, his mother was just being very sneaky. I think she, in, re in reality, she just wanted the best. She wanted to see them grow from just being a couple to, you know, making a family. But um, sometimes it might play. But then again, I don't, I don't think it should be an issue. It really should be all God's children. Do you think it's an excuse, an experience? That, uh, that justifies a guy being a player? No. Why? Sometimes the woman you loved so much, uh, the woman you are so much in love with, uh, might turn out to become a beast and she starts stressing you and the next day you are trying to get solace somewhere. So sometimes the man you are in love with becomes a beast and before you know the woman is also looking for somebody outside the marriage or the relationship circle, so it's 50-50, so it's gonna happen to anybody. Circumstances. My brother, the Nigeria we're in now, <laughs> almost every guy is, you know, but um, some of us are, are, are good guys, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the good guys, are the good guys. Yeah, some of us are good guys, in particular the bearded ones. The bearded girls are the good guys, you know. <laughs> they make sure you have a bearded guy in your life, you know what I'm saying? I don't know, some of these players, I can't understand why they should be a player. I can't understand it. So probably it could be from experience. Some guys have been heartbroken and they just switch over to be players. You can't blame them anyways. Why? There's no there's no excuse for it. You don't just don't cheat. Possibly like. an experience, uh, maybe an experience, uh, maybe heartbreak or something like that. You know what do you think? Yeah but you shouldn't have like an excuse to be disloyal to your partner. Like some people give you reasons. People say, oh, I've been heartbroken so many times, so I decided to be a player. People say, oh, I have trust issues. People say, because it, something happened to my friend, I won't be a player, so it won't happen to people. Give different reasons. But seriously, I just think be truthful to yourself and to your partner. That's it. People just don't become players like that. I mean, you know, people, people generally want to love, but something has to, there has to be an underlying cause. So, you know, that's that, that's the root of the problem. But sometimes we just trying to we tend to cover it up and say, you know what, I don't want that, I don't want that, but we are all actually just running away from love. To be like, well, I was a player right, before I got married. <laughs> I was a player before I got married. So, and um, I, I think it came natural to me. Yes, I was a player. <laughs> I just I just feel um, for a guy that wants to be a player is just uh, a sign of immaturity because if, if a guy is matured and he likes to take responsibilities, you know, he won't roll that way. Yeah, so it, at, a, at a point, I think a guy tells himself that, you know what, I think I need to start making better decisions and be responsible for the decisions I make. So, yeah. Uh, I just think it's an excuse for a guy to be. Everyone has a story to tell, you know, everyone. You know, we've seen marriages fail. It doesn't mean, mar it doesn't mean that the, the institution of marriage really does not work. You know, um, or we've seen relationships fail. We've all been into one relationship or the other that has failed. It doesn't mean you there's no right person for you, or it doesn't mean relationships do not work. Who do you think is the other wife in the movie? Oh, it's a banana. Yeah. Mother, right? Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, the other wife. 
his his mother, this her mother-in-law. I think the mother-in-laws, the mother-in-laws were the other wives. I don't think mother-in-laws, of course, are like that, you know. Um, but we have mother-in-laws who are like that. I just told you, you know, like I said earlier, we have cases like that, but it doesn't mean that um, it, ha it applies to every home or every marriage. You understand? It's all about containing such and understanding. It's all about understanding. It's all about, um, it's all about wanting peace in a home, basically. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> of course, it's a mother-in-law. <laughs> is this a daughter? After a two-year, no a single shoe dress. This one is daughter. That's incredible. Yeah, it's incredible. It's incredible. Uh, actually, I was thinking, like, uh, will it be interesting? Will it be uh, actually funny, like they say it's going to be? Yes, it's actually funny. A whole lot of <laughs> reasons to laugh. All right, some parts were exaggerated, but I still love them. Yeah, hilarious. It's great. And the message was passed clearly. And uh, we appreciate the initiative of these people bringing this together over time to make this work. We touch several areas of relationship from being single to actually being married. And message to everybody out there, players, mother-in-laws, mothers, wives, and the rest of them. Well, remember, Hoga TV gives you the update to make you understand what is happening in your environment right now. We have the power to entertain. Follow us on all social media platforms, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. My name is Engo Okisi. This is Event Report. I gotta go right now because the movie is over and I um, have to look for a way to get the movie. Okay.